if you think about modern day slavery, it comes in many forms. In this form, we're talking about, you know, people who are denied um, shore access or shore leave, people who are forced to live on boats that, that sometimes aren't equipped for, you know, with living accommodation. Um, they are subject to physical abuse uh, and beaten if they're, you know, if they're not working hard enough or not seen to be working hard enough. Um, they're they're penalised through their pay, um, and and all around the you know the conditions are 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 those of a forced labour situation. So um, they they're denied basic human rights basically. So um, so that's the problem. Um, I think the um, uh, calling this out is you know it, this isn't going to be solved through one single agency. And I know that the report is calling for. Um, um, transit visas to um, be looked at because that's a, a loophole in the law but it's going to take more than that it's going to take you know those working in fishing communities to um, be more vigilant and to report to the MCA um, when they see problems it's going to take a change to legislation it's going to mean that welfare workers on the front line um, have to be far more savvy and equipped to deal with situations and they do deal with them you know they they quite often rescue migrant workers from boats um but we need a fast track process to to eradicate this as soon as possible <laughs>